This is Thomas at Mercedes-Benz of Farmington. Uh, like we, I just mentioned, we got off the phone. I wanted to make a quick video of the 2016 Cadillac uh, Escalade ESV. Um, I've done some pretty detailed inspection of it with two of the valets that were here. We found like one paint chip on it, which I'll show you. Uh, outside of that, everything is phenomenal. I've tried to like get as much information on this car as possible so I can uh, answer questions effectively. So let's check it out. All right, what I'll do from here is I'll just kind of show you the car. I do want to point out it is dirty. It was just sitting outside. I normally run it through the car wash before doing a video, but I wanted to do this video inside so I had more light and I didn't want to just be dripping the whole time. So it is somewhat dirty, but outside of that, there's nothing wrong on this side that I could find on the body, the wheels, uh, anything other than Obviously, this is what I'm talking about. It's level 30. Everything looks good here. Um, I still will show you, obviously. Let's pull this open. So you're spacing. This is where we've kept floor mats. Because um, we put the plastic down underneath here. Some of the things that came with it. Which is nice. And seat controls. Putting things up or down. Good spacing. Let's so say I can just push the button, close it. The one flaw with this vehicle is on this side, the driver's side. And I will show you it is right here. This one paint chip it is tiny, so you can kind of see. But there is something wrong with that. I was determined to find something. Obviously it has parking sensors, pretty loaded up. One of my favorite things, and especially in getting in these big cars, is the automatic step right there. Show you the door. Seat conditions, fantastic. I don't know that anyone even sat in these other seats. Let me see if I can get into the back and point out things. It's just, it might be a little dark still. The seats, obviously you can see the vents, ventilated seats in front with the DVD headrests on both of those seats as well as two sets of DVDs back here. I like the rubberized almost like walkway to get to the back seats. They haven't even been touched probably. All of the seat conditions are good here controls for plugging stuff in if you wanted to. Um, there's also no smells in this car. It was not previously smoked in. No weird funky smells that you'd have to be concerned with. All right, let's get in here. So you can see we have some of the headphones, three headphones and some of the controls for all the DVD and screen systems in the back. Two USB plugs right there have the cup holders and they do have the the cooling feature with that button two more usbs and a and a plug-in let's go ahead and start her up too all right warns us ice is possible drive with care thank you car um it is pretty cool that it does have the head-up display it's going to be hard to see but maybe you can see it right there you can control that, turn that on and off if you like. Control probably these digital displays. This is a very fun, cool car. Obviously heated seats are turned on right now. I don't know that I'll need that, but heated ventilated seats, seat control or the pedal controls here, dynamic suspension, lane keeping things, uh, parking sensors. We couldn't figure out how to open the glove box, but I finally found a button up there. I did not find a window sticker necessarily, so I can't see the original packages, but hopefully this video has done some of those details. You see it does have the sunroof here with the controls up high. Um, all of the light and 4x4 controls are over here set to uh, two-wheel drive right now, but it can be an auto or even four high, four low. This looks phenomenal and the valets were almost drooling over this car. Hopefully this has been a, a good video for showing an accurate depiction of what to expect from this 2016
Cadillac Escalade. Hope to talk to you soon, Chad. Hey, Chad, as a side note, definitely feel free to share this video to whoever else is in the decision-making process for this vehicle. If there's something else that you would like to see more specifically, please let me know. I can you know, do my best to take pictures of things, send it your way, make a video, whatever I can do to help. Um, in the meantime, let's talk as soon as you get a chance to look at this and hopefully if this is the right vehicle, we can place a deposit and move forward with whatever else needs to be decided um, before you either pick it up or I should send it out to you. So hope to talk to you soon and we'll go from there.